Hey folks, Jonathan here. Okay, spreading a little bit of uh, rock here. Uh, this is tailings. This is a, a friend of mine has a sand pit and they get this in. I guess they, they sell some rock too, but they separate this from another size. They've got the other size sold and then this is what comes off the, the pile. This stuff don't pack good, so it's not good for driving on, but it's good for, you know, just walking on thin. It's not like the round rock where you're going to, you know, bust an ankle or something. I mean, it it don't uh, make your feet go out from under you. It just, it, uh, it just don't pack as good as like a crush and run or anything like that. Let me show you the pile here. All right, so here's the pile, which is a big pile, 25 tons. But uh, you can see that somebody has taken it over. My grandson, every time I get gravel or sand or dirt, and we always put it in a pile because I got the skid steer, I can move the stuff, but uh, he uh, decides that it's his, so this is Graydon's Mountain. And uh, I don't know if he's gonna, how mad he's gonna get at me because of the last one, uh, every weekend, or every other week he comes stays with us. And he, uh, see that the pile was getting smaller and smaller, and I don't think he liked that, so. Uh, but anyway, all right, we're going to, uh, I'll show you our lapping going on. I've, we've been lapping for a couple hours now. All right, I do have the uh, piston and rod just fitted in there. Make sure everything's going together right. So we've got a, some cleaning up to do on that for sure before we run it. And then I've got to clean the inside of this eccentric rod up. And uh, I'm hoping... I don't know if it's going to be possible, but, you know, we might be able to have this thing running in this video. If not, next one for sure. All right. All right, lapping away. Like I said, been lapping for a couple of hours. We're just going to keep letting it go. And uh, eventually here we'll have it like we want it. Got a couple pieces on there for weight. I got to get in there and make my piece from my uh, rod, my valve rod, so we can seal it up. I think I'll go do it now while that's working. All right, all right, folks, our lapping's done. I let it lap uh, about half the day, uh, from about eight o'clock till twelve o'clock. And here is the piece that I made. Just machined that off, and then. Uh, Measured it out first and then I made that to fit on there. So that'll push up in. There's no reason why that shouldn't work just fine. And uh, there's our other piece. So. All right, we're going to keep at it. That's a little more of a taper than what was on it, but I think it'll be okay. All right. All right, folks, I uh, got the cylinder back on. Uh, she lapped in good. I don't I don't think there's going to be any problem. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad at all. I've seen a lot worse run real good. Uh, let me see, I loaned out my inch and a half pipe tap, so I can't clean that hole out, but hopefully we can get a fitting in it. Uh, I started taking this out, everything like this ring must come off here. I've never tried to take one off before, but I'm betting that ring would have knocked right off and I could have got all that crap out of there. But I didn't do it, so I'm not sure what to, what to do. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll take it back loose and raise it up and see what we can figure out. I don't know. It's not that big of an issue right now, but it will be when I get ready to do it. Now, when I put the head on, uh, it's got a lip on it, too. So I'll have to take the head back off when I do put the sheet metal around it or whatever I use, so, which is not an issue. I mean, uh, don't mind pulling it back off. We just want to see how it runs. Uh, let me see. Hung the cylinder. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, it looks good. I didn't hone it. Uh, I didn't over hone it. I just got the glaze off of it. Uh, there was no reason for that because it was actually in really, really good shape. So no issues there. Uh, I don't think the, uh, the slide valve is going to give us any issues. Uh, I actually sprayed... Uh, brake cleaner in it to clean it up and the piston was laying in it when we was up, we had it up there uh, lapping it and it actually held brake cleaner so the brake cleaner didn't leak out until I picked up on the valve so things gonna seal real good and uh, 
everything else is looking good. Ring should be here about any time. Um, should be about in line with uh, the mailman here. So we'll get them and see if we can start getting that together. All right. All right, folks. Here's our new rings. Uh, got them in today. Same thickness back here, but uh, a whole lot thicker up here. That's crazy. But one thing about a steam engine, or about this particular steam engine anyway, that different from a gas engine, is you can see these four holes around the piston. Now what happens is, is when you put pressure on the bottom side, that steam goes in that ring groove and actually pushes out on that ring. And it actually does it on the top side too. So you have the help of the steam pressure pushing the ring out on the cylinder. And uh, the only difference, uh, these are straight cut instead of that angle cut, but you know, you gotta live with that sometimes. Let me stick one in the cylinder roll and let's see what kind of ring in gap we got. All right, so there's our ring in gap. And I'll have to check that and see exactly what it is and then figure it out. Uh, seven inch bore. Uh, it might be a little bit tight. If it is, we can grind it, but I'd much rather be tight than too loose. Uh, like I said, the bore on the cylinder is not bad. You would think with them rings in the condition that they was in, that it would be uh, in much worse shape than it is. All right, folks. Didn't get to make no ice cream yesterday because of the storm and all, but uh, we're going to make some today. I uh, also got real busy on highway patrol calls yesterday and uh, ended up working about half the night, so I'm about wore out. But anyway, uh, let's go get some stuff to make ice cream. All right, folks, we got everything for ice cream. Driving the back roads home because people like to run you over. This old Studebaker, it'll still do 60 mile an hour, 65 mile an hour but people around here drive 80, so you can't do that. Uh, try to stay on the back road so I don't get killed. But uh, anyway, you know, with fuel prices like they are, especially diesel, I haven't been driving my truck that much. Um, just to drive it around. I'm gonna wind it out here. We'll go to overdrive. So to go to overdrive, all you do is let off the gas and hit it. And there, that's overdrive. Works good, but yeah, the my Duramax, you know, it's not terrible on fuel, but it's not as easy as this is on fuel. It's 170 cubic inch, uh, flathead six. It's a tiny engine, and then you got a overdrive transmission. Like I said, I mean, I can I can do the speed limit. We're doing 52 mile an hour right now. Of course, we're just coming out of a 35 mile an hour zone into a 55. So. Might have been speeding a little bit, but anyway. But uh, so got everything for ice cream on the way back home, and hopefully be there in a short minute and get get the boiler fired up. We'll go ahead and make some ice cream. We're going to take a break. It may be tomorrow before I put it back together, but uh, it's been a long day if you include the the three wrecks I had to get. So, all right, all right, folks, making ice cream. A little squeaky there. So got the belt twisted, that reverses it, but it also gives it more surface area on the pulley. You get what you can see here. More surface area on the pulley. Less chance of slipping, but it's not gonna slip on this anyway, but I needed to reverse it. So, uh, anyway, using a little red engine for this. I mean, I really didn't need it, but uh, I've got that belt to do that. So that's the way it is. Started moving some gravel in here. From, some entailing so same same thing but uh maybe i'll lose a little weight from this anyway there it is and we'll be eating ice cream here shortly uh we're going to start putting the upright 10 horse pipe together tomorrow and maybe we can have it together and run so good chance all right appreciate everybody watching till next time bye